Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome back to ProLine. It's been an unbelievable couple of weeks. We were here two weeks ago. The NBA have the big situation going on with the Lakers. They keep losing. Miami look like they're for real. And in the playoffs, what did Philadelphia do the other night? 14-point <laughs> favorite, and then it'll show up. And Michael Vick, he looked kind of human, Scott. Uh, we got the bowl games going on. Big game the other night with Iowa and Missouri. Unbelievable at the end of that game how that worked out. This is the most interesting time of the year, no question about it. I can't wait for these playoffs to start. Of course, we got one more week of some very interesting games in the NFL. Great bowl games coming up. And the NBA is just heating up. And guess what? We also have college basketball. And the guys up here, we're doing great in college basketball because we stay on top of these teams, even in the preseason. But now we're going into the conference games. This is the best time of year, believe me, for making money, Scott. This is it. I love it. I mean, I love the fact that the finals are basically over when it comes to the college basketball team. So now we can get back uh, to the basics and start winning. And we had that great run going into the month of December. And we come into today's taping of the show off of a 5-0 and college basketball evening. So we're really happy and jacked up for the rest of the basketball season. You mentioned the Vikings and Michael Vick. This is the second time now in about four or five weeks where an opposing defense just said, what the heck? We're coming after them. We're bringing the kitchen sink. And you saw what happened. As you mentioned, once in a while, the cape comes off and uh, he becomes human. And you got to worry. We talked about it many weeks ago that he's going to start taking some hits and teams are going to come after him. They're going to gamble a little bit on defense and they're going to see if he can make the pass. He's going to take his licks where he, whether he completes some of those passes or not. And if he can stay healthy is the whole obviously key to Philadelphia advancing deep into the postseason. So we saw Minnesota get after him. And it's going to be interesting to see when they match up, who they match up with in the opening game for them in the uh, NFL playoffs, if it's going to be a defense that feels that they can gamble because they've got a good secondary. And if that's the case, he could be looking human you, again. You know, for years, people have said, if you want to win in pro football, I'm talking about go a long way. Run the ball, stop the run, play good defense. And if you want to talk about protecting your quarterback, run the football. Mm -hmm. If you can run the football, those guys can't come after you and kill you like that. Now, the only team I know that Dave, that, that does that without a real good running game is the Patriots. I'm not sure what their scheme is, but they don't get to Brady. They don't put him on the ground that often. Of course, Manning's kind of the same way, too. But maybe Vic holds the ball too long. Maybe they, maybe they simply just don't run the ball well uh, enough. I don't know. Vic's been, he's been awesome. He's had a great year. That was the first really bad game he's had. And the whole team was bad in that football game. I mean, they, they just haven't been very good. Uh, the Patriots, you think they're the, overrated, though. Because the media, no, loves, no, I, no, I don't. Media it, loves you, Vic. No, I don't, I, they're talking about him every day. It was a bad most, situation. I, I don't think they're overrated. Bad I don't think they're overrated. I think I think they just had a <coughs> huge flat spot. You know, it looked like a really easy game for them. And by the way, kind of started off that way. And the Vikings looked inept in that football game early, and the Eagles got the seven nothing lead. It looked like it's. That's why you don't lay more than two touchdowns in the NFL. By the way, because there's just too much. You know, even Carolina. Uh, you give them that many points, they're probably going to hang around. Uh, look, I, I don't think they're overrated. I think this, the Patriots are the best team, and then there's everybody else. And that still doesn't mean the Patriots are going to win either because you saw what happened a few years ago when they looked like they might be the best team of all time and then uh, didn't win in the Super Bowl. Uh, I, I, one thing I do have to bring up, and I want to switch gears for a second and, and go NBA. Um, boy, you know, Lakers, they, they are not good right now, and you I know oh, it's just a regular season. It doesn't matter. I don't know. They look slow. Their bench doesn't look good. Al, your guys, you're a Spurs guy. Yeah. As we're talking, 27-4, and four, and they beat the crap out of the Lakers uh, uh, last night uh, based on our taping. I, uh, I don't know. I, I'm starting to think that the Lakers may be down a notch. Maybe it's not automatic come playoff time this year that they just roll through the West. Yeah, yeah. I'll get to NBA in a second. First, though, I'd like to throw out a team that people seem to be overlooking in football. You say it's New England and everybody else. What about the Green Bay Packers? They've lost six games this year by three points or four points. Even at New England with a backup quarterback, they only lost by four points yeah. in that ball game. Yeah. I mean, the Green Bay Packers are a heck of a team, notwithstanding the fact that they've had six starters, you know, out on, you know, injured reserve the whole season. So if they make the playoffs, Green Bay is going to be a very dangerous team. And that's one team that can take down New England with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, New England's a great I agree. team. I agree. But Green, Green Bay is doing 
everything right this year, notwithstanding their injuries. I, I want to know what's in that helmet besides his head. <laughs> because he puts on that new adjusted helmet, and all of a sudden he becomes Superman. <laughs> I mean, Aaron Rodgers couldn't miss. You know, yeah. he's like this, but, but he couldn't miss. <laughs> but but, but, but now, now, as I say that, watch Green Bay go out and, you know, pull a clunker <laughs> against the Chicago Bears and not even make the playoffs. You know, the interesting but, thing, though, is, is that, is that they've, they've done it without a running game. Yeah. And I mean, you know, but the short see, pass the game works New, as a running exactly. game. New England, we didn't think they had a running game. And then the big hyphen out of Indiana... <laughs> This guy, he's had a great year. Jarvis Green then, Ellis, Danny the Woodhead. The Packers can't run the football. I mean, they, right. they, they, they just can't run the football at all. It just tells you how good Rodgers has been. Uh, and a real nice coaching job up there by McCarthy and that staff as well. It would have been easy for them to fall apart. They didn't do it. Yeah, and although John Coon's making some plays at fullback sure. for, for, for the team. I mean, he, he, he looks great. But going back to the NBA, you know, you've got four great teams right now. Miami, and everyone wanted to bury them a month yeah. ago. Boston, San Antonio, and Dallas. And then, of course, Los Angeles might get back up there by the end of the season. But I think this is going to be the most exciting. You know, at the start of the year, I thought it was going to be a boring NBA season. But now it's turning into what might be the most exciting playoffs we've seen in years. Well, you've got five you, super teams. You're not, I mean, Orlando just picked up a few players. Yeah, you're right. Like, yep. That yep. could definitely make a difference. I mean, they it have it a powerhouse lineup. Don't yeah. you love an organization that doesn't sit around yes. and, and either, and either yes. bitch about their situation or, or, you know, give up. Or like, Orlando said, you know what, we're not as good right now we as Boston and Miami. They did. But we want to win. Yep. So they went out and made a deal. They are, they are a better team already for that deal. You know, the they already beat San Antonio and Boston, and then they've blown away the, you know, the cupcakes so far. Yep. So they, you've got to put Orlando right up there with, with the other teams. The way they're Who are the t- going into last week the two most efficient teams in the NBA? Both reside in the Eastern Conference, the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. And you're saying this about the Miami Heat, a team who was terrible through the first 15 or 16 but, games for the most part, but, but efficient but on defense their margin, and on the But their margin end. of victory, even when they were losing games, they had the best margin bullies. of victory. In the, they in were their, bullies. Yeah. They were beating the crap out of the teams they were supposed well, to beat, but they were losing to the big kids right. on the block. Everybody talks about their offensive <clears throat> potential, but these guys can play defense. Yes. No, yeah. Green and Bay's, that can keep you in a lot of games. You mentioned Green Bay. Isn't their point differential? What is it now? Uh, top well, Green in the Bay, league, New close? I mean, Green Bay and New England is basically yeah. it, which – you know, the number one way for me to gauge how good a team really is is point differential. And uh, the Green Bay's right up there with the Patriots. Even with all the injuries that you just mentioned earlier, I mean, it's just been a tremendous job by McCarthy. That, that's an overlooked stat when it comes to handicapping. And, 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 and you know, I'll tell you where it's you, – you check this out. You guys like to bet futures. Um, baseball win totals will be coming up in a couple months. Go back to last season and look at run differential – and then compared to the win-loss record, last year, the under in the Seattle Mariners on the win total, I told people this, best, the best I've ever seen, the best win option I've ever seen, because the Mariners actually stunk in 2009 despite the fact they won 87 games. You'll find those things again, and you have to use that in your handicapping for all the different sports. Point differential does matter. It absolutely matters in terms of handicapping college basketball on a daily basis and things like that. One of the most overlooked and easy-to-find stats out there. Take advantage it of it, guys. It definitely is. Yep. Today is New Year's Day. The most important thing going on right now, we got bowl games and we have the NFL going into the playoffs. We're going to come right back and talk about some of those games right now. We're in the stretch run of football, and you can win right along with me with all of my executive football releases from now straight through the Super Bowl for just $29. That's both college and pro winners, including my bowl game of the year. When you make the call to 1-866-841-1655. Even better, call now and use the code word New Year. And you'll also get the entire week of basketball as a free bonus. And that includes a huge high roller play as well. Bowl games, pro winners, and basketball for one low price. That's 1-866-841-1655. Call now. And don't forget, for free plays each and every day, just text WINNER to 313131. That's WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and a free play will be sent to you immediately. That's two great ways to cash this weekend. Text WINNER to 313131 or make the call to 1-866-841-1655 for my 2011 football special. Hi, I'm Dave Koken here with your New Year's resolution. And here's what it ought to be. Stop farting around and get serious about winning this year. And the only way to do that is by playing the best plays. My window plays are some of my most powerful selections. They sell for up to a nickel apiece. Here's your chance to get a full week of these games for only $49. 
and I'll guarantee a minimum of seven plays in those seven days. Seven big plays for just $49. Get serious about winning in 2011. Call right now, 1-866-841-1665, and take advantage of this great offer for serious players. Well, it's not the playoffs yet, but these games do have some meaning. The Ravens, who uh, Ray Lewis says, this is our time of the year. Well, they got to get ready for the fourth quarter because in the fourth quarter they've given up a lot of leads so far this year. Now they're going to play the Bengals, who, unbelievable. Last year they win the division. This year I think they have two or three wins. Of course, last week they did knock off San Diego and look pretty good doing it. Al, uh, I, I, you know, Bengals somehow come at the end of the year, even in their bad years. I think they've had one or two winning seasons in 20 years. They're not going to have a winning season this year. They're nine-point underdogs, nine-and-a-half-point underdog. The total's 43-and-a-half. The Ravens know they're in, and they're still in a battle with Pittsburgh. Should they win this game and Pittsburgh lose, they would win the division. Yeah, I mean, what, what I love about the Bengals is nobody wanted them the last two weeks, and what do they do? They go beat Cleveland and then they go beat the San Diego Chargers. But both of those games were at home, and that's the key for me in this ballgame. I mean, they win two home games. Okay, so what? Now they're on the road catching almost double digits against Baltimore. And one of the things I love to do is go against unrested teams in the regular season if they're off exactly two wins, both at home, and they have a win percentage of 570 or worse. Basically, they're not great teams. And when these teams actually cover the spread in their previous game as well, they're now 38-76 and 76 in the regular season. But that's not the best part. If they are matched up against a team that has a 700 or better win percentage, 0-14 against the spread. So, wow. you know, Cincinnati did great the last two weeks. Whatever. I'm laying the points. Well, I'll go into the teeth of the 0-14, I guess. <laughs> Look, uh, this is the end for Marvin Lewis. I think he'd like to go out with a win. The thing I noticed about the Bengals is this. Um, where they made their mistake, and I do blame Marvin Lewis for this, He's the coach. They were a good football team last year because they focused on the run and they defended the run well as well. Uh, this year what they did was, they, I, I, whether it was subconscious or by design, I don't know, but they tailored their game plan basically to satisfy those two gigantic egos at wide receiver. And they went away from the run, which is how you win football games, and they were throwing the ball all over the field and Cedric Benson, Cedric Benson was unhappy from the first week of the season. He says, I don't know why I'm not getting the ball. Uh, Last week, Owens is out for the year. I know he's had a great season. Ocho Cinco, he can't play. What they do? They, oh, oh, yeah, they ran the football, and they played their best game of the season. I don't think these teams that are in the playoffs have as much sharpness mentally because they know they don't really, yeah, they can improve their position a little bit. They don't care about that. We care about that more than they do. And I've, to, I've heard that from players. It's like you guys care about that more than we do. Once we're in the playoffs, it's like, come on, let's play. The playoff games wouldn't matter. I think Baltimore is going to struggle in this game. The Bengals give the ball to Cedric Benson and at least cover the spread in this contest. I can't believe you're saying that Jordan Shipley has a massive ego. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I guess it depends on the player or maybe the era or whatever that you talk to says about caring. I remember asking Jack Snow on one of the final Pro-Line TV shows we did about that. You know, do teams care about that second seed? He goes, you better believe it. He goes, you better believe they care. He goes, at least we did. So I guess it depends on who you talk to as far as who the players were. Maybe well, it was the they, era. They don't care, but there's just some <clears throat> not. But in the back of their they, mind, they, they, they don't need you it. You saw it earlier this week. Look, I'm sorry. The Eagles were very relaxed uh, uh, in that football This was game. a big argument, though, that was being made by a lot of people. They and he come out and he says, we're, we come out and we play just as hard for that but, second hey. seat. Or th you know, then, so, and, and we're not in the NFL, so I'm just telling you what. Well, you the also, know, also, you know, I also have but a we saw the Eagles. The other we, we live in a different generation now than when, well, that's when, what I'm saying. when Jack played. It could be the era. You know, yeah. and, and uh, the, the whole society is different. Sure. We don't care about things like we used to care about things. I care, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what about but this. You, but you're a throwback, <laughs> Scott. I mean, you know, even though you're only... Uh, well, you're still I not. throw back. You, you doesn't do mean I am back. a throwback. Yes, okay. <laughs> but anyway. Better than throw it up. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, as far as this game's concerned, here's the deal. Uh, I got to go with that 14-0 thing here, and I didn't even know about it when we came up here because I had Cincinnati was our, our top high-end player at the personal service last week over San Diego. I'd like to say that I knew they were going to win the game outright by 14 points. Uh, we did feel they were going to cover, though, making them a top play. Here's the difference between Cincinnati now as opposed to when Cincinnati did beat Baltimore earlier this season. What was a Week 2, I think it was. Yeah. And we had Cincinnati in that game. Do you know they've had 16? It's been reported everywhere, but 16 
uh, different defensive backs on the field for at least one play since that particular football game. This team has been a mess with injuries in the secondary. Uh, the offense, I'm not going to trust Carson Palmer because of one great game. And now, as Al said, going back out on the road after playing their game of the year last week. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens, the one caveat here, uh, besides a couple of things that Dave said, one of the biggest caveats for me is that margin of victory for Baltimore at home this year, even though they're only 6-1, and one, is just seven points a game. Uh, the margin of loss for Cincinnati away from home, where they're 1-6, and six, is only seven points a game. So you've got to factor that into the mix a little bit also. But I think Cincinnati played their game of the year last week. Hey, Ray Lewis goes into Cleveland and says, we were embarrassed by Peyton Hillis and the Cleveland Browns the first time we played them, and we're going to get after them, and we're going to shut them down, and it's going to be a different game. And they did shut down the Cleveland Brown offense. He said the same thing about this team this week. Flacco had a terrible game that first time. The secondary's been a mess ever since. Flacco's been much better taking care of the ball, not throwing as many picks, and I think Baltimore gets him here. Flacco has had a, a great run. The last part of the season, he's been incredible. And, uh, you, you know, this Bengal team for years, has, I mean, they've started the seasons off bad, except for last year and one other time in the last 20 years. And then at the end of the season, they start covering spreads. Ocho was out. <laughs> T.O. was out. They have these young guys in there. What does Palmer do? They said he's washed up. He had the highest, the best rating he's ever had in his entire <laughs> career last week. They ran the ball. They played a little defense. Of course, they caught the Chargers, I think, which is one of the, the poorest managed teams. And, of course, in Alex Spano says he's keeping oh. the guys. I mean, and, and, yeah. and, and the San Diego That media, whole situation in San Diego is a disaster. Listen, the San Diego media, we talked about this on the radio show uh, that I do on uh, ESPN Radio here in Las Vegas. I mean, if, if this was. New England, New York, Philadelphia, Cleveland, you know, a hardcore East Coast sport. They'd be going absolutely nuts. Uh, but in San Diego, it's like, okay, uh, well, yeah, the, the guy says we don't want to break it up. I mean, you got to be kidding. Break what up? Mediocrity? Yeah. I, 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 you got to be kidding. North, <laughs> North, Turner, yeah. Look, North, North, North Turner is a terrific offensive coordinator. Yeah, He's good as good a play guy. caller as there is out there. He's a lousy head coach. Sorry. I mean, the team doesn't come prepared out of training camp. It's the same crap every year. And uh, uh, this is the same team that got rid of the 14 and 2 yeah. Marty Schottenheimer didn't, a few years ago and changed over to <laughs> Norv Turner. But anyway, we're talking about this game, the Ravens in Cincinnati. The, the, there's a lot of meaning to this. Pittsburgh is going to be playing Cleveland at the very same time. And if Pittsburgh is beating Cleveland, and that comes up on the scoreboard, the Ravens don't need to win this game. And that is a dangerous situation when you're laying almost double digits. That scoreboard could play into this game in the second half. So look out, anybody that's on the Ravens, if Pittsburgh is whipping up on Cleveland. We're going to come right back. We have another big game to talk about. Hi, I'm Alan McMorty. Our Fortune 500 Club plays are the most expensive plays on the Internet, $500. And today we're featuring not one, but two NFL Fortune 500 Club plays. Last week, all people cast with the Cincinnati Bengals, easy winner over the San Diego Chargers. This week, you get $1,000 of value for a very special offer. It's just $19. Call toll-free, 866 896 1628, not one, but two NFL Fortune 500 Club plays. You can pay $500 each online, but if you call toll free right now, both for just $19. 866 896 1628. Go 2 0 today. 866 896 1628. Call now. Hi, everybody. Scott Spritz from Smash Mouth Sports. A tremendous January is about to kick off. I am releasing the entire NFL playoff season right through the Super Bowl and including my playoff game of the year for just $29. I'm also throwing in uh, an entire two weeks of NBA and college basketball at no additional cost. Hope you're with us in December. We cashed our regular season game of the year again with the Indianapolis Colts, came back a couple of weeks later, and cashed our blockbuster game of the year with the Baltimore Ravens. Make it three straight. All you have to do is call toll-free 1- 866-896-1627. Just 29 bucks gets it all. Again, NFL playoffs, NFL playoff game of the year, two weeks of pro and college basketball, 1-866-896-1627. Make the call, get it all for just 29 bucks. Welcome back. We've got a very interesting situation here. Because Philadelphia lost to Minnesota the other night, the Bears leapfrogged into a different situation. They don't really need to win this football game. The Packers, on the other hand, absolutely have to win this football game unless they're looking for a miracle to happen and the Giants lose and Tampa Bay loses, which I guess isn't that big of a miracle, Scott. 
you, get, you got a situation here. If the Packers win, they're in. If they lose, they need both Tampa Bay and the Giants to lose to get in. It gets complicated. The Bears, on the other hand, they're in a great situation. They've got to buy the first week. They could leapfrog Atlanta by winning. Personally, I don't think the coaches are going to play all their players here. I know they said they would. But that was before Philadelphia lost to Minnesota, which no one thought was going to happen. They're Except almost, for us. Well, well we, <laughs> we, we bet the dog, yes. but we took the points. Oh, we yeah. didn't bet them, I didn't bet them on the money line. I don't points, think you yeah. did either. No, I didn't. <laughs> what do you think about this? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, had since, I had a parlay. I had Cincinnati on the money line to the Vikings on the money no, line. You, are, you are good. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, as far as this game is concerned, there, you, you mentioned there's no – not really a miracle if those things turn out that you just right. mentioned. Compared, it's, not, it's possible. Compared it's to Norv Turner having a job next year in the NFL as head coach, <laughs> nothing is a miracle. Uh, but as far as this particular football game is concerned, you know, I remember way back in week three or week four when these two teams hooked up. Uh, it was a Monday night game, I believe, and, and I had the Chicago Bears in that game and was very, very lucky to win that football game against the Green Bay Packers. I think the Packers had 18 penalties called against them. And I remember after the game watching, you know, after watching Jay Cutler somehow escape with not throwing four interceptions in the game because he made a lot of bad passes. And I remember the media going crazy after the game talking about Jay Cutler and, boy, he's on the same page with Mike Martz. He's going to have a terrific season. This is going to be incredible. And, uh, and I'm sitting there going, did they just watch the game that I watched? I had the Bears and I got lucky because the guy was almost throwing a pick on every third pass. I, I just think this is a, you know, you're right. If anybody's going to sit down the players, it would be the Chicago Bears in this position, even though they have a chance to win out and uh, if they win the game to have home field advantage throughout the playoffs, a couple of other things have to take place uh, in this game, uh, in, the, in the league this, this week, as I try to speak English here. Uh, but the bottom line is, I think that when you look at what Green Bay's done and you look at Jennings and how the fact that he was uncoverable for most of the week last week, I mean, they just tore through the defense in that game. I think he's, they're going to have a real tough time, the Chicago Bears, at hanging with Jennings and with this offense knowing that they need to come out and win this football game. I know must win doesn't equal will win all the time, but the bottom line is I think Green Bay is going to be much more sky high for this game. Nothing better than beating one of their divisional rivals in the black and blue division, and I like the Packers to go ahead and win this game by a couple of touchdowns. Let me ask you a question about this, and I don't know if we know this answer, but I think, it, well, no, they get a buy, buy, and this would be a wild card. That isn't true. I was going to say the Packers would have to play the Bears twice. Yes. But, since, but, but if they get a buy, that's not possible because right. the Packers right. would be wild exactly. card. Mm-hmm. Right. They have to go somewhere else <coughs> yep. right. to play. It's probably probably, probably Philadelphia. Atlanta. Philadelphia or Atlanta. One of the two, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and the thing is, you know, I, yeah, the Bears still have a chance to get the number one seed. But for that to happen, Carolina would have to win against the Atlanta Falcons. But we had another 14-point dog the other night. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> the, the, the difference is the Vikings actually have a lot of good players. They really do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, Vi- the Vikings they were, they were one of the, the Vikings, favorites to get right. to the Super Bowl. Yeah, the Carolina yeah. Panthers never were that, and they yeah. are clearly the worst team in the league. Uh, yeah, I mean, absolutely, without question. The, the battle cry, the win one for John Fox, just isn't going to do it this week. <laughs> no, that's been the thing on the Panthers all season, was that John Fox was a lame duck coach before the season started. And everybody knew it. Uh, it's like this is, they're not going to extend his contract at the end of the year. And uh, uh, so everybody knew he was gone, and the Panthers have responded with a lot of really bad efforts. They're a bad football team. They don't have much talent there. Uh, it's time to – there's where they do need to break it up and start all over again. I think the Packers, uh, uh, boy, they played well the last two weeks, haven't they? I mean, outstanding performance without Aaron Rodgers against the New England Patriots, and that Patriots team's a juggernaut right now. And Green Bay actually should have won that football game, and they come up with another strong performance last week. The Bears are also playing well, and I know Lovey Smith did say, yeah, we're going to play the players regardless. We want to keep them sharp. But I still don't think it's a sharp spot for them mentally. That was a wild game last week, too, against the Jets. It's a prime letdown spot. I think Green Bay, uh, Al, I, Green Bay should win this football game. Yeah, I, I agree with you. You know, you, you hit the nail on the head. It is a prime letdown spot. 38 points against the Jets the week before, 40 points against the Vikings. We never thought we'd be saying that about this Chicago Bears team. But, hey, Mike March, you know, he's done it before. One of the things I love to do is go against teams off high-scoring wins. And then when you get teams off back-to-back wins that scored 38 or more their previous game, if they also cover the spread in those two big wins, these teams are now 26 and 73 against the spread if they are not catching three or more points and they're matched up against a decent team with a win percentage of 439 or better. 
I think it's all Green Bay here. See, you know I, I love, you know I love things? it. I went, I went against the 14 and 0, but now I'm on the 73. That's right. All right. <laughs> when, it, when it agrees with you, it's brilliant. <laughs> you know, it when, is brilliant. When, when, you, know, you, talk, the, when you talk, when you talk, no, I was going to say, I'm sorry. I was just going to say one of the things that you know, the Chicago Bears had that great scheduling again. They seem to catch teams in the right positioning, and they also what nine, not including Green Bay, nine of their other 14 games have been against teams who have won less than half their games that are sub 500 teams. And uh, there's another great angle. I, I it's a 30 and 10 angle going against the Chicago Bears this week, and it has to do with teams off of back-to-back wins, and, and they've got to be teams winning a certain win percentage that Chicago fits, and their opponent has to be between a 5-10 win percentage and 600 football, and that's what they fall into here. 30-10 and 10 going against Chicago. I'll, so I'll give you one angle on the other side, though. Okay. Uh, it's the don't kick the ball to Devin Hester angle, okay? <laughs> don't kick the ball to this guy. You want to beat the Bears... Keep the ball away from Devin Hester, and you're probably going to be. Two things right? you're going to show in the Jeez. Green Bay locker room, and obviously was a, it was it was obviously a different team and a different player, but you know same type of results could happen. They're going to show what happened when the Giants kicked it to Deshaun Jackson. One thing they're not going to show is Rex Ryan's wife's feet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rex has had his foot in his mouth all year. Oh, right? he's, he's definitely <laughs> since that hard knock. I mean, all it, we're the best team. We're going to Super Bowl, all that stuff. I mean, all that arrogance that just caught up with them. The Jets' defense has really fallen apart, folks. As far as this game, though, the Bears, Mike Martz and everything else, in the beginning of the year, uh, Cutler was being hammered. I think uh, in one half, the Giants sacked them nine times in one half. Mm-hmm. They've changed a lot of the schemes now. There are a l- lot shorter passes, two, three step drops, much smarter coaching situations there. They still have a terrible offensive line in reality. Now, that's going to catch up to them. I don't know if it will this week because I'm not sure how many players are going to play. The Packers are in a prime spot. But they're a big favorite in this game, so you got to look out for that, too. we got a bowl game to talk about. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Dave Koken here with your New Year's resolution. And here's what it ought to be. Stop farting around and get serious about winning this year. And the only way to do that is by playing the best plays. My window plays are some of my most powerful selections. They sell for up to a nickel apiece. Here's your chance to get a full week of these games for only $49.00. And I'll guarantee a minimum of seven plays in those seven days. Seven big plays for just $49. Get serious about winning in 2011. Call right now, 1-866-841-1665, and take advantage of this great offer for serious players. We're in the stretch run of football, and you can win right along with me with all of my executive football releases from now straight through the Super Bowl for just $29. That's both college and pro winners, including my bowl game of the year. When you make the call to 1-866-841-1655. Even better, call now and use the code word New Year. And you'll also get the entire week of basketball as a free bonus. And that includes a huge high roller play as well. Bowl games, pro winners, and basketball for one low price. That's 1-866-841-1655. Call now. And don't forget, for free plays each and every day, just text WINNER to 313131. That's WINNER, W-I-N-N-E-R, to 313131, and a free play will be sent to you immediately. That's two great ways to cash this weekend. Text WINNER to 313131 or make the call to 1-866-841-1655 for my 2011 football special. Welcome back. We're going to take a look at uh, the Virginia Tech-Stanford game. Stanford is a three-point favorite. The total is 58 at the moment. You know, you look at this Stanford team. They play in the Pac-10. Had a great year. They're 11-1, 7-3 against the spread. Jim Harbaugh has been talked about as possibly going into the pros. His brother's in the pros, uh, coaching for Baltimore. Andrew Luck is talked about as being the number one draft choice. If he chooses to come out, and I... You know, if I'm advising him, I'm telling him he should uh, and, and take the money, especially with the labor situation going potentially going on in the NFL. So this is a, dist- a distraction for Stanford, if I could speak. Virginia Tech, on the other hand, lost early in the season to Boise. And then they had a clunker against, they lost against James Madison or something. But they're 11 and 2, 10 and 2 against the spread. This is a well coached team. Tyrod Taylor. 23 touchdowns, four picks, 2,500 yards on the season. This is a good football team, Al. 
Yeah, you, you know, what I love about the college bowl season, because you get three or four weeks off, the media needs something to talk about, and they make mountains out of molehills. You know, we saw that with Iowa, Missouri. You know, maybe it wasn't a molehill, but it certainly wasn't a mountain with the running back, you know, being suspended and the wide receiver being out. I mean, you know, all Iowa does have the next running back at over 200 yards. And, you know, that was the biggest college football bet I've made in 14 years was on the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now with Stanford, you know, will it be a distraction? Jim Harbaugh's name being mentioned, you know, will luck go pro? Hey, guys, there's 22 players, you know, starting on an offensive and a defensive lineup. It's just, that's a bunch of noise. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. Um, as far as this game goes, I like it over the total. And yeah. you take a look at Virginia Tech, they're 10-1 and one over the total, away from home versus opponents, which score 37 or more points per game. Of course, Stanford's averaging 40.3. On the other side of the field, Stanford 9-2 and two over the total versus teams with good rushing attacks of 4.75 yards per rush or better. Virginia Tech's getting 5.1. I think this is going to be one of those old-fashioned shootouts, Dave. I like this. This, over this the game's going to be an absolute blast to watch. I mean, if you, none of these. I think this is going to be the best game of it, the it entire, may very well be. entire season. I don't disagree with that. I think this game has got fun written all over it. I mean, we know about Andrew Luck, and he really is exceptional. Yeah, he's got a good arm. He's a brilliant kid. He's had a phenomenal season. You can see why he's projected as the number one overall pick if he comes out. There may not be a player in the country, though, who's improved more from his freshman year to where he is now as a senior than Tyrod Taylor. He, I mean, he was awful. He was terrible. He was awful. You watch him now. He makes really good decisions. He's got a solid arm. I think this guy's got a chance to play pro football, and he might be a, a good quarterback as well. I don't think either team is that outstanding defensively. I think both teams are extremely well coached offensively with a ton of talent out there. Scott, I think the game's going over the total. Yeah, you're talking. I think this game's going into this well into the 70s. This is what happens when a, a a great athlete who happens to be playing quarterback has no business probably at a major university playing quarterback in his freshman season. But this is what happens when you go to the right coaching staff, yeah. and that's what Frank Beamer has done. And his staff have molded Tyrod Taylor into a kid who's going to get a chance at the next level. He'll get some looks. And this was a guy who went from being awful as a freshman to being terrible as a junior. To be a guy who's going to get a look at the NFL next season. It's as simple as that. 23-4 to touchdown to INT, Mark, on the season. And I would have never guessed that no. from Tyrod no. Taylor after last season. In fact, I would have been thinking about looking to the next guy in line for the Virginia Tech Hokies to play under center after Scott, some of the things he did last listen, year. Listen, we were happy if Glennon came into the exactly. game. Exactly. Sean like, Glennon. Yep. Yeah. Well, listen, he won't do it. Taylor. But, then, <laughs> yeah. but Taylor grew up and he figured everything out. And yep. The kid's good. And great coaching. To take this team from where they were at 0-2 after losing to James Madison, as you mentioned, and to get them to reel off 11 straight wins. Yeah, I know the ACC is not the greatest conference. But, hey, here's – oh, I wanted to bring this up. I almost forgot – one of the things I like about this, and I agree with everybody up here, I think this could be a fantastic game to watch. I'm really looking forward, and I'm sure there's a lot of NFL scouts out there who are looking forward to seeing what Andrew Luck can do against not only speedy defensive backs. He saw that in the Pac-10, but he's going to see speedy, well-coached defensive backs who are not only well-coached but have had four weeks to prepare for what Stanford does on offense. And I think this is going to let us know just how good, just how ready Andrew Luck is to take that leap to the next level. If he comes out here and he can go 20 for 30 and he can throw a couple of touchdowns and stay away from picks and throw those strong uh, flat routes and sideline routes against this defense, then I'm going to say, hey, Andrew, you better go to the next level. But if he comes out and he looks like he's a little bit unsure and it looks like the speed of the game because of the preparation that Virginia Tech has on defense, if he comes out and that speed of the game catches him off guard... Then I'm still going to say, go Andrew, to the next no, level. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take the money. Yeah, I am. Money. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm telling take the money, take baby. The money. Yeah. Take the money. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> talent-wise, Especially stick around. <laughs> the talent-wise, stick around. But this Unless you're going to go to Bill Belichick. It, 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 it <laughs> could determine whether he's the number one overall pick. That's what it's going to do. Right. Yeah, I mean, the easy thing is to take the who, money. Who would but, be the know. number one pick if he wasn't? You know what? That's, somebody will emerge because there's always, it happens every year. Somebody, either in the Combine or in, in the All-Star Bowl games, somebody emerges like, uh-oh, the hot new guy to watch, and you, you can have that happen. The Heisman Trophy winner, what about him? Um, Cam Newton. I, Great year. He's an interesting guy uh, because I think Cam Newton... 
If I ignore I the think, fact that this guy a is a, a I think thug, he's going to be a good pro. If I ignore the fact that this guy's a thug, and I'm not talking about what happened with him and his dad. I'm talking about the stolen computers that he was chucking out of his window in his dorm when he was at Florida when he was being investigated. And he was throwing them out the window, literally. Talking about the fact that he cheated on his test at Florida. Doesn't matter, I guess, when you get to the NFL, you can kill dogs and still end up being <laughs> Superman three or four years later. The bottom line is, though, if I can ignore all the crap that this guy has done off the field, then I'll, I think he's the number one pick in the draft. His you talent shot? level is incredible. But I, he's got to go to the right place. I don't know how There's much time we have, right but you talk about screwed up values. The Ohio State players, did they not sell things that belong to them? Apparently and then so. Get, and then get suspended for five yeah. games for the it's, following it's, double it's, standards. It's, it's, oh, and by the way, <laughs> but this if guy. But if you're going to suspend him, how, how, how does this work? Okay, you're suspended, eh, but not for this game. Yeah. Oh, the, but the yeah. rationale was crap. This, this is well, they wore it properly in form. Yeah. Oh, that, well, that, that's just that's just that total BS. Yeah. But but I tell I'm you, being what, told that we have to. I have to uh, go. But, faster, uh, but, one one real quick comment. How is it possible that you get five game suspension? I'm not defending what they did. You get a five game suspension for selling some crap. And uh, that belongs mean, to you. Meanwhile, you got a guy who chokes out his girlfriend. And that's a game. What? I mean, will you please get somebody with some logic running this, these, these organizations? You one see a problem with one game for bet, <laughs> one game for choking out a woman, five games for selling some garbage. What that belongs to you? Yeah, Absolutely. this is crazy. We're gonna come right back. We got some best bets. Hi, everybody. Scott Sprites from Smash Mouth Sports. A tremendous January is about to kick off. I am releasing the entire NFL playoff season right through the Super Bowl and including my playoff game of the year for just 29 bucks. I'm also throwing in uh, an entire two weeks of NBA and college basketball at no additional cost. Hope you're with us in December. We cashed our regular season game of the year again with the Indianapolis Colts, came back a couple of weeks later, and cashed our blockbuster game of the year with the Baltimore Ravens. Make it three straight. All you have to do is call toll-free 1- 866-896-1627. Just 29 bucks gets it all. Again, NFL playoffs, NFL playoff game of the year, two weeks of pro and college basketball, 1-866-896-1627. Make the call, get it all for just 29 bucks. Hi, I'm Alan McMorty. Our Fortune 500 Club plays are the most expensive plays on the internet, $500. And today we're featuring not one, but two NFL Fortune 500 Club plays. Last week, all people cast with the Cincinnati Bengals, easy winner over the San Diego Chargers. This week, you get $1,000 of value for a very special offer. It's just $19. Call toll-free, 866-896-1628. Not one, but two. NFL Fortune 500 Club plays, you can pay $500 each online, but if you call toll-free right now, both for just $19. 866-896-1628. Go 2-0 today. 866-896-1628. Call now. My best bet, the Green Bay Packers. Your best bet is to get on board for not one, but two of our famous Fortune 500 Club plays. Last week, easy winner, the Cincinnati Bengals. These information plays are sold online for $500. $1,000 of value. You get both winners, just $19. 866-896-1628. Call now, 866-896-1628. Best bet on the games we talked about on the show. It's got to be the bowl game between Virginia Tech and Stanford. Wow, this should be a blast to watch. Loads of points. Tons of talent on the field on both sides on the offense. Uh, it's pretty good defensive players, but it's the offense that's going to dominate. That game goes over the total. All right, here you go. It's your 2011 New Year's resolution, one that you can actually keep and one that you'll enjoy. Doesn't mean you have to work out. Doesn't mean you have to give up foods you like and stuff like that. How about just giving up losing? That's right, winning, making a commitment to winning in 2011. Do that with a great offer to get some really big plays for me. These are games that sell for as much as a nickel apiece. I'm going to give you seven days of my high-end window plays and a minimum of seven plays for just $49. That's it. It's as simple as that. And these are big plays, the games I really like. 1-866-841-1665. Make the call and make this year's New Year's resolution stick. Hey, my best bet this week is the Baltimore Ravens minus the points over Cincinnati. Entire NFL postseason available right now at Smash Mouth Sports, all for just 29 bucks. It includes my playoff game of the year as we look to complete the Triple Crown. In the NFL, we hit our overall game of the year with the Indianapolis Colts. We hit our blockbuster game of the year a couple of weeks later with the Baltimore Ravens. And now my postseason game of the year, part of this entire playoff package. Again, only 29 bucks and at no additional cost. 
two full weeks of NBA and college basketball. All you have to do is call toll-free 1-866-896-1627. 1-866-896-1627. Make the call. Get it all for just 29 bucks with Smash Mouth Sports. My best bet is Virginia Tech Stanford, like Dave, over the total. Look for Andrew Luck and Tyrod Taylor to light it up over the total. Listen, folks, this is the end of the season. And like Dave said, this is the time to get serious. You want to make some money? You want to start the year off a winner? This is the time to cash in, put some coin in your pocket. Football is almost over. Bowl games are almost over. The NBA, NFL playoffs are just beginning this week. But they'll be over in a couple weeks, too. So you want to get serious. And for $29, my football package right through the Super Bowl, plus a bonus of basketball for an entire week and a high roller play as well. For just $29 by calling 1-866-841-1655. If you're trying to do it on your own, you've gone the whole season, and you haven't won, try it this way. Call Dave, call Al, call Scott, because we've all been winning. We all work really hard on these games. And I know I'm going to win, and I'm pretty sure they're going to win too. So we're going to win this week. Make the call, 1-866-841-1655. And don't forget, we're going to be back here next week, so stay tuned.